Hi folks and welcome to Lookout Myth Conceptions where we debunk common myths and misconceptions about Ridge Tech Lookout cellular cameras. I'm your host Ricky Tech. Without further ado, it's time to aim for the truth. Bang! Myth number one comes to us from Moose Dodger 47 deep in the Saskatchewan Alps and as usual we've condensed this myth down into a single statement. Video mode costs more to use than photo mode. All right. Now it's time to see if this myth holds any weight, or if it's just a bust. Tech board, shed some light on this for us. Ah, well, Moose Man, turns out you were almost there. In video mode, your camera will send you a thumbnail of the first frame of the video, so you'll see what triggered your camera. This video thumbnail costs less than a photo thumbnail at the same resolution, but we have to address that asterisk. If you request video files through the gallery tab, you'll end up spending more points. You can also pull the SD card from the camera and watch the videos on your computer absolutely free. Our next myth comes from Bucky the Deer Pyre Slayer 92 up in the hollers of Eastern Kentucky. Hey, that's where US Marshal Raylan Givens is from, isn't it? One antenna on the Lookout Duel is for Verizon and the other is for AT&T. Hmm, this one sounds a little fishy to me, but let's see what the tech board has to say. Looks like the Slayer whiffed on this one. The two antennas have nothing to do with specific cellular networks and are nothing more than regular old antennas. If you're facing the front of the camera, the left antenna is the primary antenna for sending and receiving data, and the other is mainly there for receiving. You can even operate the camera with just the primary antenna if you wanted to, but why would you want it to be lonely? Poor little guy. Myth number three comes to us all the way from the seaside hills of Cali. Prickled Chaos 623 says, The Lookout Duel has two SIM card slots. Short and sweet and to the point. Tech board, does the Duel have two SIM slots? Well, there you have it. The Lookout cameras in both the US and Canada have two card slots, but one is strictly for the SIM card and the other is strictly for an SD card. Please don't put a SIM card in the SD card slot or we might have to get you to mail it in for a repair. We're happy to help, but we also know you wouldn't want to be without your camera for days on end. Our fourth myth comes to us from Amy's Deer and Wine up at the tippy top of Michigan where all those famous lakes are. You have to buy your own SIM card for the lookout camera. Well, I already know the answer to this one, but let's see what the tech board has to say. Tech board? False indeed. While many cellular cameras require you to go to a cell phone store and buy a SIM card and pick out a data plan and deal with a contract and pfft, that sounds complicated. The Lookout Duel in the US comes with Verizon and AT&T SIM cards that have already been activated by Ridge Tech. Likewise, the Canadian Lookout comes with an AT&T SIM card that front ends the Bell, TELUS, and Rogers networks. All you need to do is enter the provided SIM card's ICC ID number on our web portal or mobile app. From there, you have control over your month-to-month -month billing with no contract or pesky taxes required. Ah, here's a fun myth from King of the Chill 59 who's chillin' with all them elk up in British Columbia. Rich Tech is a Canadian company. Let's just see what the tech board has to say about this one. We've been on a bit of a streak here, so we'll see. And so the tech board speaketh. In 2018, the current owner of Ridge Tech purchased the trade name Ridge Tech, and in the transition, Ridge Tech became a U.S. company based in Grovetown, Georgia, which is outside of Augusta, you know, where all the golf is, apparently. We have business partners and distributors in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada, but our home base is in Grovetown, Georgia. Myth 6, Pick Up Sticks. This one comes all the way from sunny, but also very rainy, southwest Florida. Gator Tater the Bulldog Hater says, you can turn the camera on and off with the phone app. I'm a dog fan myself, but I have to admit that when the Gators got it going on, they really got it going on. Tech board, how true is the tale of the Florida man? Oh, too bad for the orange and blue. You can't turn the camera itself off and on with the app or the web portal. However, you can enable the duty time setting and choose which hours of each day you'd like for motion sensing to be enabled or not. The camera will still be on and asleep, 
but if you have a block of time deselected in duty time, the camera will not trigger on motion during that time. Our seventh myth is brought to you by Get Out of My Dreams and Into My... I'll leave the rest to your imagination. In the Great Plains of Northern Pennsylvania. As long as you have a points reserve, your camera will never suspend. Tech board, how does this very bold user's myth hold up? All right then, you were on the right track there, Pally, but didn't quite reach the finish line. Your camera will run off of your reserve points if your pool runs dry, but only until the end of the current billing cycle. If you don't have an active credit card on file, or if you don't have automatic renewal check marked on the My Account page, your camera and SIM will suspend until you renew your pool manually. The great myth number eight is here. Papa Bear 45 in the dark depths of Nauvoo, Illinois says, The lookout's antennas need to be pointed towards a cell tower for better signal. Well, that sounds promising, but let's see what sort of majesty the tech board has in store for us. Ah, oh, so there we go. Pointing the antennas sounds like the right thing to do, but the antennas that ship with the lookout are omnidirectional antennas, which means they send and receive in all directions. No need to point them at a cell tower, but if you pick up our Yegi directional booster antenna from our online store, you'll need to point that big dog at a cell tower. It's myth number nine and we're feeling fine. This one originates in the sprawling Midwest state of Nebraska. Kodiak the Zodiac brings us this riveting myth. You'll need an AT&T or Verizon cell phone to use a lookout camera. Well, well, well. That would certainly limit our customers then, wouldn't it? Tech board? Yes, this is very false. Your phone's cell carrier and the SIM card in your lookout camera have absolutely nothing to do with one another. The only relation between your camera and your cell phone is our mobile app, which runs off of Wi-Fi or cellular data. The camera sends your pictures to a cloud server, which is where the app pulls them from to put in your gallery. Here comes number 10. Not your friend, buddy, up in the grandest of prairies, Grand Prairie, comes to us with this doozy of a myth. The overview tab shows you real-time, multi-dimensional Stephen Hawking level to the super nanosecond camera stats. Uh, okay. That's a <clears throat> unique way to put it. Well, tech board, what do you have for our buddy, guy? See, yeah, I figured that was too... Uh, I don't know. It's a bit of a stretch. The overview tab shows your camera's stats from the last time it checked in with the server to upload a file or send its heartbeat. The stats are unfortunately not live. That would consume a lot of power, as your camera would have to be awake and online constantly to update its stats. And then, well... When would it have time to take pictures? Our 11th myth travels here all the way from Washington State where Frappuccinos were invented. Lord of the Beans 75 says, Points are used up when viewing or downloading images or saving new settings on top of when the camera uploads images to the gallery. Eh, I'm not going to mince words on this one. Take it away, tech board. Not sure how our caffeinated pal came to that conclusion, but points are only consumed upon uploading files. So you'll spend points when your camera sends thumbnails, and if you so choose, when you request higher resolution photos or full videos through the gallery. Time to delve into myth number 12, which flies down south from Brockville, Ontario. Let's see what high sticking Niagara has for us. Each new camera you buy requires a new RidgeTech Portal account. Yeah, so get ready to make tons of extra Gmail accounts if the tech board says this one is true. What do you say there, Bordo? Of course it's false. That'd be really inconvenient, you know? Having to log out and back in over and over to check all your cameras? Ridiculous. You can add as many cameras to one account as you'd like, and they will all share the pool. In fact, that's why we call it a pool, so you can pool your cameras together. All right, we've got one more myth for you all before it's time to call it quits. 
Our 13th and final myth comes to us from Antlers Are Forever up in snowy old Wisconsin, land of the cheese. Photos and videos can be sent to your cell phone number as text messages. Sure seems like we have some problems with semantics around here. What do you have to say about this one, tech board? Well, that's our tech board for you. While many cameras on the market are set up for MMS messaging, where you enter a phone number into the camera for it to send pictures to, this is not the case with the RidgeTech Lookout. If you have the mobile app installed with notifications enabled, and then check the Send Mobile Push Notifications box in your camera settings, then you'll receive push notifications when your camera uploads pictures, updates its firmware, or downloads settings. You can even set it to notify you when a heartbeat is sent. Well folks, that's about all the time we have for this episode. I'd like to thank all of the users who wrote in with their myths, so I've got something to do in between Ridge Tech official tutorial videos. I've been Ricky Tech, and this has been Lookout Myth Conceptions. Let us know if you have any of your own myths, and we'll see about featuring them in an episode. We'll see you next time, and don't forget, we probably can't help you with cameras made by our competitors. So have a good night!